Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I hope you all are well at home. Let's look at the topics of this week. We'll continue with the second part of the rainbow bear. You will discuss about the dream of the polar bear and what will happen to his dream. We'll be doing apostrophe for the grammar lesson. The assessment will be conducted in grammar, synonyms of said, simple past and present perfect, handwriting also. Do you remember where the rainbow bear was? Yes, he was in his den, dreaming. Yes, dreaming to catch a rainbow. Then he meets a wise shaman who advises him to wish on the rainbow rather than catch it. What do you think? Will he catch the rainbow he longs for? We will see what he does in the next part of the story. Before we proceed, let us look at some of the words that we will come across. Well, first word is shaman, a person who is thought to have special powers to control or influence good and evil spirits making it possible for them to discover the cause of illness, bad luck, etc. Next, soak, extremely wet, saturated. Next, coward, jump or dance around excitedly. Next is frolic, play or move about in a cheerful and lively way. Tumbled, having fallen or collapsed, stalked. To follow an animal or person as closely as possible without being seen or heard, usually in order to catch or kill them. Whoop, a noise or cry often made in excitement. Murmur, a low continuous background noise. Flow, a sheet of floating ice. We'll be doing these two pages of the text the Rainbow Bear, you can read along as you follow the subtitles in the video. And it was true. He was old, little more than skin and bone. But a meal was a meal. I made ready to pounce. Only leave me to live out my days, my friend. He went on. And I shall grant you your dearest wish. For I am wiser than man. I am shaman. I know all there is to know. I know you hunt rainbow. But rainbow cannot be hunted. Cannot be caught. All you can do is to let rainbow come to you. And when he does, you must not pounce on him. You must wish on him. Then all you wish will come true. This I promise you. The wise old shaman turned back to his fishing again. So I walked off and left him there on the ice. I did just as he had told me. I hunted no more for rainbow, only for seal and fox and hare. But I still looked everywhere for rainbow. Every night I dreamt of him. Then one morning I woke, and Rainbow was there. It was him. It was Rainbow leaping out over the sea and across the sky towards me. I remembered again the wise old shaman's words. So I sat on my mountain side and waited, and hoped, and waited, and hoped. Nearer he came, nearer still until he stopped right over me. I was soaked through in his colors. I was rainbow too. I knew at once what to wish for. I closed my eyes and I wished. Let me only stay like this, just as I am at this moment. Let me be rainbow bear. When at last I opened my eyes, Rainbow had gone from the sky above me. But I was Rainbow, Rainbow all over. I was Rainbow Bear. 
I coverted, I frolicked, I tumbled down the mountainside. I rolled in the snow, I plunged into the sea. When I came out, I shook myself dry. I was still Rainbow Bear. No bear before me had ever been happier than I was then. I went to find the old shaman, to tell him, to show him. It was far to go, so I hunted as I went. I smelled seal. I stalked him silently, silently. But seal saw me coming and was quickly gone. I smelled fox. I stalked him silently, silently. But fox saw me coming and was quickly gone. I smelled hare. I stalked him silently, silently. But Hare too saw me coming, and was quickly gone. By the time I found the wise old shaman again, I was weak with hunger. Ah, my friend, he said, wherever I go, they speak of little else but you. Out at sea, the whales whistle and whoop of it, the waves murmur it. At night, the snowy owl hoots to the moon of it, and all say the same. Have you seen the rainbow bear? Is he not the most beautiful bear the world has ever seen? And you are? But there is much danger in beauty, my friend. And even as he spoke, he pointed out to the sea. A great ship was stealing towards us through the ice flows. Silently, silently. Look! He cried. They have come for you, my friend. Run! Hide yourself! Go! Before it is too late! So I ran and ran, but the men from the great ship came after me with their dogs and their guns. So now, think of what will happen next. What could be the end of this tale? I would like you to go through these words and learn the spellings. Now we shall come to our grammar lesson. This week we will be doing apostrophe. Look at this punctuation mark. Which punctuation mark is this? Yes, it is an apostrophe. Apostrophe is a punctuation mark used to indicate either position or the omission of letters. Today we will be talking about position. Now look at these sentences. This is Alam's pencil. That means the pencil belongs to Alam. This is the girl's book. That means the book belongs to the girl. This is the bird's nest. Which means the nest belongs to the bird. This is the seal's ball. The ball belongs to the seal. In all these sentences which you have just seen, an apostrophe is added before S to show position. A noun can show what it owns or possesses. We add an apostrophe S to a noun to show ownership. Now look at these sentences which show that something belongs to a number of people. This is the girl's book. The book belongs to many girls. This is the seal's ball. The ball belongs to many seals. This is the bird's nest. The nest belongs to many birds. This is a boy's school. The school belongs to many boys. Did you notice where the apostrophe is in the sentences which you have just seen? Yes, it is after S. This shows that we add only an apostrophe to make a plural noun ending in S possessive. Now, let us look at the plurals that do not end in S. For example, children, fish, men, 
people sheep mice deer now look at these sentences the first one is this is a children's pencil that means the pencil belongs to many children it is the sheep's wool the wool that belongs to many sheep it is the mice's cheese the cheese that belongs to many mice these are the men's shirts the shirts that belong to many men now let us look at the rules that we must follow while using an apostrophe we add an apostrophe s to make singular noun possessive for example cats boys hamids we add only an apostrophe to make a plural noun ending in s possessive for example boys dogs girls we add an apostrophe s to a plural noun that does not end in s to make it possessive the deer's antlers women's dress these are some examples to show position you can go through it here is a short activity for you explain the use of apostrophe in these three different words that is the lady's car the lady's car and the children's car now look at this picture these children are talking about birthdays but there are no apostrophes in their sentences can you add them in the bubbles It is Bilal's birthday today. My brother's birthday is next week. It is my sister's birthday next month. Make space for the birthday boy's cake. My dad's birthday is in June. Here there are a few sentences for you to correct. Take 5 minutes to put an apostrophe in the right place. You will be given 5 minutes for this activity. Self check the answers after you have finished. First sentence is Ishal's favorite day of the week is Friday. Second, children's holiday is on Sunday. Third, do not sit on the teacher's chair. Fourth sentence is Do not play in the boys ground. Fifth one, I watered my neighbor's plant. Sixth one, the cow's diet is mostly grass.
Now, check your answers. Vishal's favorite day of the week is Friday. Children's holiday is on Sunday. Do not sit on the teacher's chair. Do not play in the boys' ground. I watered my neighbor's plants. The cow's diet is mostly grass. Let us see how each of the following sentences can be written using an apostrophe. Madhya is looking at the hoop that belongs to Ishal. Madhya is looking at Ishal's hoop. I washed the car that belongs to my uncle. I washed my uncle's car. Maria is playing with the toys that belong to Sara. Maria is playing with Sara's toys. Here is an exercise for you. You have to put tick or cross to show if the sentence needs an apostrophe or not. Thank you and good luck.